think if you were looking down the garden looking at it, yeah. you would want it to look spectacular every time yeah. you looked at it, yeah. which would mean you could put in some dwarf heather, heathers All sorts. Um, and stuff we like that really as well. We could really choose species, couldn't we? Grown on, so okay. you hold it all together. That one looks better. Yeah, I think it'll be absolutely fine. No, because you can see the see the red light. Oh, on. Aye. If the red light's red light on, cool. it's recording. If the red light's not on, it's not recording. So you've just had a beautiful introduction there that I've done for you, and I didn't press record. So, good morning, Ant. <laughs> what are you doing here this morning? <laughs> now the thing is, Ant's now a YouTuber, uh, so he can't have a go at me because he does things like this now, don't you, on Ant's Country Life? Don't you? No, no. It runs <laughs> smoothly like clockwork <laughs> over on my channel. <laughs> Well, hello, YouTube uh, friends. Again. <laughs> again. Here's Ant's back. And today, uh, we're, what are we doing today? Uh, today, I'm just setting up the, the uh, scaffold and the framework. Because we're going to be putting a green roof on the cabin, uh, we need to be able to hide off the floor yeah. to work easily. So okay. today, it's just setting out, um, get the scaffold ready, cut all the bits of extra wood and yeah. get there's all the pieces, of bits and pieces together that we need. With anything like this, there's always yeah, a load yeah. of prep, isn't That's there? right. And then okay. uh, we'll get that sorted and then hopefully we'll uh, we'll have Kate up on the scaffold. And oh, well, maybe. You know how I just like to get it. under his feet. I'll probably do that today. <laughs> all right then. So, uh, absolutely brilliant. We're doing a green roof because I've always wanted to do something like that in a, you know, would be, I, what I'd really like is to put a green roof over my entire house. Yeah. But we're not going to manage that, are we? We'll just it's see probably the, the only time I say no. Yeah, okay. I, but definitely right. not. That's fine. Okay then, so Eileen's going to supervise, or as somebody said in the comments last time, snoopervise. Well, uh, that's true. Uh, she's and uh, I'm going to close attention. I try really hard not to get under Aunt's feet. So, uh, no, it should be good. I've got a bit of a cold, uh, and so uh, I think everybody, um, is a bit unwell at the moment. It's not the kind of summer you would imagine here. No, no, it's more like September. Yeah. You know, we've got uh, rain, nearly a frost. You know, down to four or five degrees on a night. Yeah. Twelve, thirteen on during the day. Not, um, not nice not, weather. Not nice at all. And we're really, recording so. this for you in the middle yeah, yeah. of June, nearly midsummer, and so you know we we are not having the sort of spring and summer that I hoped we would have. No. Well, you've got your coat on, haven't oh, you? I know. Hoodie I've got on, you know. Big of, thermals. First on. week of June. It's yeah. just not warm at all. So anyway, so we're, we're walking wounded here. Uh, and you're going to be um, setting up then. I'll show you him setting up the um, scaffolding yeah. and then we'll be able to get up there, but not today. That's going to be a... a, a probably tomorrow by the time tomorrow. we get everything sorted it's, out. Yeah, I, yeah, lots yeah. of prep to do. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Definitely press record that time. <laughs> See you in a minute. <laughs> and then that gives perfect access height perfect to the roof height, then, yeah. like. So. Yeah. There's your old pellet. Oh, wow! There's an owl pellet. Put that in something. Oops. So that means there's been an owl sitting on that roof, coughing up a pellet. Just eyeing up its uh, nest box, isn't it? Eyeing up its nest box.
Ta da! Yes, well done. Hey, the view's good up here. Good. Stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the camera. <laughs> so, talk us through what you did yesterday. Uh, yesterday we cut, or I cut, these boards that go all the way around the edge. Now, these will hold all the extra material that we're going to put in, like the drainage, the insulation, not the insulation, the drainage, the, and the fibre. That and then the seed layer. on top. Yeah. Three layers then. Yeah. So first of all, we'll put another plastic sheet on top of this one to protect the roof. Yes. And stop any water seeping through. Yeah. And then we'll put the drainage, the drainage layer. down, which is like a woven plastic kind of drainage open it, it's, membrane, it just isn't it? Provides like a gap, doesn't it? Yeah. It just it's a, yeah. a bit of a gap. So, if we, so if we get a heavy downpour of rain, it runs straight through, and we've dug drainage points on the back, or I've cut drainage points, I should say, on the wood on the back and the, the, all the excess water will run out through the drainage underneath. Then we'll have... Growing the, medium. The growing medium, so we'll put that on. Yes. And then on top of that, we'll roll out the sedums. And they're also grown on top of uh, cocoa fibre. Yeah. To keep them all in one piece. That's right. So we'll roll that out, and then that's it. We'll okay. let nature take its course. Yes, and so it looks... It, it, it probably doesn't look amazing to start with, but it beds in and grows in, and then you know, it becomes um, the sort of green roof that we're familiar with seeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, 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 it is grown and then rolled up and transported, so it never looks its best when it no. first appears with it being um, a succulent. Yeah. Um, it's a bit not like turf where the grass doesn't take any hurt when it's rolled up and brought okay. to you, where this, usually, I think it'll probably take it three or four weeks for it to green back up okay. and stand up again and look its best, you know. Okay. There is parts of it starting to flower where it's yeah. been um, since it's come, yeah. but uh, I think Two or three weeks on the top of here, a bit of sunlight, uh, fresh air for it. Um, plenty and I think, of rain. Yeah, plenty of rain. We've got lots and then, of that. Uh, it'll come away and it'll look okay. really nice, I think. This is a perfect structure then. Yeah, yeah. This is all this this spot on. Excellent, great. So I've just been instructed to stay here. Make sure she stays so where I'm she's I'm going at. to do as I'm told, but I'm going to show you while Ant's up and down this ladder, because he, he hasn't got the same restrictions on himself. <laughs> have you? No, no. I don't have one. I'm going to show you the... Um, let me show you what he did yesterday. So this is the back of the cabin and the roof is on a slight um, tilt. I don't know exactly what degree, but any rain that wants to drain out will go through these um, holes that Ant's made in this. And this is just some larch that was left over from making the, the larch cladding on the cabin. And am I right in thinking that larch has got a good life? Yeah, the, the larch has natural um, tannins in that um, protect it from rotten. Um, and what it will do is weather down, it'll turn more silvery grey in colour. Yes. But this will this will outsee me okay. and you, this me stuff, like, you know. Um, okay, it's fantastic good. for it, like, you know. But this lip here that you've built here uh, is going to be perfectly fine in, uh, in, in contact with the wet. Yes, but... Um, we're going to put this plastic so that's the sheet first, on, the but that's going to turn up the side of the wood as yeah, well. So none do. of the water that's on the roof is actually going to come in contact Extra with any protection. of the wood. Um, it'll all just run off, so there's only Brilliant. rainwater that's going to touch Excellent. the actual arch itself. Well, while he's down there doing stuff down there, I'm going to show you how it looks from up here, because it's a very nice view. Across to the farmland over there, and then the leaves on the trees are in full leaf now which has made this whole pond area a bit like a big green cave as the woods are very thick and lush just now. So I'm stuck here for the rest of the day on top of a piece of scaffolding. He does worry about me. It's very nice. membrane? It's a viscreen and um, they use it for underneath um, floors when they're relaying concrete and stuff so yeah. it stops the damp coming through concrete and stuff so it's a heavier gauge okay. as well so it just means if 
we'll happen to catch it with anything while we're making the roof. It's not going to puncture and make it uh, lose the water, you know. So it, so yeah. it'll be perfect. So this uh, stuff is going on nicely, and ants having to cut bits. It's reminding me a little bit of when you make a quilt and you haven't got enough wadding, batting, to put in between the layers and you have to make a, a franken backing. That's what he's doing at the moment. Uh, but it's going to work fine because this does not need to be connected together. It just needs to be next to each other. It's only draining, so all it's doing is adding a drainage layer. Everything, everything comes back to quilting in the end, doesn't it? Not being much use here. Patting it, not that important really. Oh, please be the right length. That's not bad, is it? That's not bad. Absolutely not. It doesn't have to be dead flat, does it? No, no, they're... Uh... Yeah. That's perfect. That would be absolutely fine, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yes, very good. Warm too. Really warm, got, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a bit of thermal going on there as well. So it'll give the roots every best chance. And it'll keep you. Oh, it'll warm insulate the cabin as well. As well. Even though. It needs it though. Well, the cabin's got wool insulation and now it's going to have roof insulation as well. Yeah, yeah. I hadn't thought about that secondary um, function of this. Yeah, but yeah. of course so. it's going to insulate the. Um, the cabin it's as lock, well. Uh, insulate the cabin as well. Eh? It's going to be really warm, isn't it? Good. Because if you remember, when I was first building this cabin with ants, I wanted to use a lot of green features if I could, and the insulation in the cabin is all wool insulation. We did that one uh, last November, I seem to remember, uh, and the cabin is toasty and warm. It really is a, a lovely, gorgeous space to be. Uh, but this is now going to add that absolutely gorgeous extra layer. It's all right, doesn't it? It does look all right. It I'm looks really better quite... up here than it did on the floor. Yeah, I was a bit worried about it on the floor. It looked a little bit uh, yellowy. Yeah, yeah. And patchy, but actually it's now pretty it's good. It's all right, yeah. doesn't it? So with those three layers that we put on there, and then this is the final thing that the company sends us. So what's going on with this one and what do we yeah, do with yeah. that? This is just a slow-release fertiliser um, just to help the roots establish once it's up. 
Um, and we'll put half this tub on now. Okay. Um, just sprinkle it just on. Just sprinkle it on. Um, especially, it's going to rain again later, so <laughs> it'll wash it in. It will. Um, it's going to wash it And then it we'll in. keep half and put it on probably in about six months time okay five, six months time just before the um, winter sets in yeah yeah or right. even if it's if it's thriving we can keep it all the spring and give them oh, a boost okay. in the spring oh, that's you know? good okay um but Great. you know i would say probably in another in a week 10 days you know there's a lot of yellow um the cedar maker um some of the flowers which is this the flowers starting. that are coming through and these taller bits here you know since they've been laid out upon here these are going to grow and stand up yeah you know, very very quickly and uh, it'll take shape, I think. No it will take shape because we talked about this. We've talked about this for months, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since the roof first went onto the cabin, I, we've talked about my, my desire to do this. And all the time it's been, well, well you're not going to see it because you can't see it from the ground so much. Yeah. But I think once this perks up a bit and yeah, yeah. you were talking, tell us a bit more about the... Th what we can do over time with this by planting other things in here yeah yeah well uh, another um, option that we'll have as well is we can plant bulbs into it um, the likes of grape hyacinths and yeah. crocuses and stuff like that and you'll get a, a nice burst of colour in the spring off them yeah. um, and then also you can plant in other wild flowers such as cowslips yeah. wild primula oh. um, and you're going to get grasses grow on it anyway if the, the seeds okay, grow through seed as well seed blown but what, the big one for here oh. which we'll have to watch is the tree seed yes you know we'll end up getting quite a few of the ruin that you can see but also um the oak beech stuff like that, and especially silver birch which grows very very quickly from self-sown and and we've got quite we have a, few a lot of, those. of it here and all it is we'll just have to keep an eye on it and as you see the shoots coming through we'll just nip them off with the scissors and that'll that'll stop them from growing otherwise the roots will wreck the roof want, like you know and we, yes the roots will wreck the roof and we don't want trees growing no, out of the top absolutely of it. not so absolutely so not. there is obviously it's a living thing there is some maintenance to this that's right it's not like like putting a bit of roofing felt down no 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 and walking away we have no. to maintain this and what you'll find as well is um some of the sedums that's in it will thrive, some of them will die off. Yes. It'll become its own landscape that fits into where it's at. Yeah. You know, not everything's going to grow well, some things will grow better than others, and you'll find out in probably six to eight months' time that yeah. uh, it could, could look a lot different to what it does now. Okay, you know? well, so, that'll be something to uh, keep an eye on over yeah, time yeah. then. Yeah, it'll develop as it grows, you know, yeah. it'll, it'll find its own environment that uh, suits everything, like, you know. It will, and yeah, and we'll plant little bits in here and there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, what are those ones? Uh, saxifrage. I like yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, well, that's right. You can get the rosette saxifrage. Yeah. And they'll plant in and they'll grow well as well because it's the same, similar family, you know. They yeah. all grow on drought resistant as well. That's right. Um, so they'll thrive, you know, they'll be all right. Well, that's a, a very good job well done. So I can't thank you enough. I really can't. And so I did say to on. Ant, we had a cup of tea earlier on, and I said to him, I don't think I've got any more big projects. <laughs> I think she says. I, she well, says. I can't think of any. <laughs> I mean, we've got that that one over there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we have got some small jobs. We haven't got any big... I can't think of any big jobs. No, no, not at the minute. I'm sure uh, something will come up. says, just you keep it that way, Kate. <laughs> well, well we've, got, I've got plenty to do. Yes, but, you have. Um, And you've got plenty to do. Well, we so, both have plenty uh, to do. That's right. Um, the, our lucky thing is that we both enjoy doing what we do. Definitely, yeah. That's the best yeah, part. yeah. Uh, it's uh, we're very fortunate in that respect, yeah. Because uh, Ant's uh, channel is uh, growing apace. Uh, he just did his lovely uh, thank you for seven thousand subscribers uh, on the channel. It's, it's unbelievable. I believe it. Ant. I, don't, I, I think believe it's it. Unbelievable. No, I absolutely believe it because I really see the value in what you're doing. I really do. Is that this stuff underneath yeah, there? Just lift that up, put it's it over the top. It'll okay. go through. Okay. So it'll, it'll be fine. Sort yep. so, so I'm going to say we'll scrim sprinkle this stuff on now, season the top of this with a layer of this nutrition here. Yep. And uh, the next garden video, I don't know, I have no idea what it's going to be, but I've been so looking forward to putting this one out. So thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you very much ah, you're for welcome. making it happen. Ah, you're more than welcome. Uh, no, it's... Uh, as, uh, as I say, you know, doing this is one thing, but the added stress of having someone filming up your nose while you're doing it is <laughs> it's a bit of a... Uh, it's a, a different level of, uh, of, uh, of work commitment that I, <laughs> that I get from you. No, it's grand. At least now we're... 
this is done because you've been wanting this done for ages I and have. ages. Yeah. And it's out the way now, and uh, yeah. you know you can uh, tend to more things on the floor in the garden. Now, That's right. Uh, and we'll keep an eye on this. Yeah. Although I have got a, half a dozen things that I want to do. <laughs> Only half a dozen. Right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I number these videos so that you can find them easily. Uh, so that, you know, you know, if you're watching this one now, but you haven't seen any of the others, you'll be able to see which number is the building of the cabin, the digging of the pond, all of those things. This last year has been really interesting here at the last homely garden. Uh, and uh, so definitely put your notifications on because I just put these videos out when Ant and I Ant has got time to do them or I've got time to do something in the garden because it's mostly uh, the Last Only House channel uh, gets a lot of my attention but this one uh, gets more and more of it now too so notifications on I say and thanks so much for watching leave us a comment down below and uh, we'll put the link to the Green Roof Company where I got this stuff from uh, which is uh, the Green Roof Company, something like that. I'll put a link in the description below if anyone's thinking of getting a green roof. And we will see you next time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Take care. So do we need to sprinkle this stuff on now?